Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, Gabriela, how are you? Ah, very well, and you? Just fine, just fine. Oh. Well, I'm... What about you? Area. Where are you? Still uh, working? No, I'm in home. Oh, How really? Did Your day off? Dinner. Yeah, today, today was my day off. Okay, enjoy your dinner. We can talk later. Don't worry. No, no, no. I'm... ¿Cómo sería? Estoy ayudando a hacerla. Oh, you're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Making algo que no le gusta a usted. Like what? <laughs> eh, la vez pasada usted dijo I don't like pupusas no I hate them <laughs> but I'm trying to help here those, those things are not good <laughs> pero a nosotros a, 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 por lo menos a nosotros si nos gustan bastante y son como nuestra debilidad yeah, but, you know, in my case, uh, is not good for me. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, you know, it's just like, uh, not my thing, not my thing. <laughs> Christian, si él va a venir a traer otra. Bueno. Pues sí. Así que aquí estoy ayudando. Bueno, digo yo que ayudando. You are helping. Ok, bueno, well, that's interesting, that's interesting. Wait a second. No problem. ¿Yo lo sí? ¿Quién yo sí? Ay, se ve borroso. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's not good as I told you. It's not something that I can tell you that I enjoy. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. And you're there? I am checking the attendance. Let's see. Well, you're doing good. My day, my day was fine, just fine. Same old story as usual. Okay. Todos nos estamos enfermando, teacher. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. But you know the bad thing is that... Ya se han dado, nada más, este... Ahora, este... Tuve que correr con mi chiquitín al... al a pasar consulta porque este tiene eh, gripe y le andaba doliendo el estómago. Oh, really? How can I say the word estómago in English? Stomach ache. Can you? Stomach ache. Ah, stomach ache. Yeah. Yeah, that's stomach ache. Yeah. You know, stomachache is something pretty uncomfortable. But, but you gotta be you gotta be careful with what you're taking. You know, uh, yeah, you got uh, as they were telling you there, uh, you got stomachache, headache, toothache, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Backache. So you just add the word ache. Okay. Ah, pues, entonces, eh, nada más mañana tengo que estar a las seis y media en, en la unidad de salud para que lean los exámenes. Right. Sí, entro That's a las so ocho bad. y de ahí tengo que regresar entre eh, lo más tarde a las dos de la tarde para que pase la consulta. Ok. Yeah, it's going to be a heavy day for you tomorrow. Ya. Yeah. Solo con imaginarme. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Okay, well, 
But you know, that's the way it goes with little kiddos. You gotta be careful with them. And I mean, what can we do? Yeah, <clears throat> just kids. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Now try to say it in English, please. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oversize. Overweight. Overweight. Yeah. They told me he is overweight. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, uh, with little kiddos is complex because they eat a lot. And besides that, you know, they're there metabolism it's kind of different yeah mm, but eh, good evening se dice <coughs> poverty huh? puberty 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 mm. you almost okay, in that age in okay well yeah, you know, teenagers are complex. Let's say complex. <laughs> yeah, teenagers are complex, but you know, kids, I mean, uh, we have to, to take care of them. We have to feed them. We have to watch out for them because they get in trouble so easily. Yeah, very easily. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing with being a parent. Yeah. También pasamos por esa etapa, ¿no? Yeah, well, well, I was a quiet guy. I don't know you. I mm. was pretty quiet, yeah. I was pretty serious and quiet, you know. Well-mannered person, very centered person. I don't know, you were perhaps terrible, Gabriel. So so. So so. Uh, you know, when I was a teenager, let's see, the thing is this, uh, you know, in my case, it was kind of different because uh, of uh, uh, I had to face different situations being pretty young. I started working like uh, for a company when I was like, uh, 17. Well, actually, I was still 16. I finished uh, the third year of high school at 16. You you were very young? Yeah. So, mm. uh, as I told you, I mean, I started school and finished school being very, very young. Yeah. So, that was a big influx. Like, uh, I mean, my parents, they sent me to school. I was in first grade when I was five. Oh, hmm. and I mean, life for me was different. And then uh, let's see, I was uh, uh, I was I, at the how so do you terrible, say that? Hold on. I, I was very curious. Yeah, really curious. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, until they. Curious, that's interesting. Uh, because mm, uh, I wasn't a teenager mm -hmm. to go out and, uh, ¿cómo sería? Viajar con amigos. Travel with friends. Come? Travel, Travel with, with friends. Okay. And uh, I don't can do that when I was a kid. 
or teenager. And to sustain oh. home. Like his day. Well, you know, in my case, it was different. As I told you, I was even uh, for a little while, I was at the was at a boarding school. Mm -hmm. You know what is a boarding school? Uh, no. Boarding school is uh, internal. Oh. And and I was at the at the. Uh, it was a military school. <gasps> so, I mean, it's an influence. But, it affects. Yeah, but when. Uh, with the boys is different. Yeah. Well, my yeah. sisters were there. Well, one of my sister was there. Yeah. At the same really? school. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> it was quite interesting. Uh, I start to work when I was uh, 18? 18. 18. Okay, when you were 18, that's, that's young, but not that young. No. Okay, tell me, what, where was your first job? Um, dijo que se dice bien? No, where, where? Donde? Ah, eh, eh, se llamaba vacaciones sentimentales. Oh, really? Yeah. Very small, but for a big company. That's interesting. Yeah, we sell uh, estadías. Okay. Where? Where? Uh, La Soja Resort. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. I never meet that place, but. Como lo pintaba? Yeah. Very precious. Stays. You were selling stays. Hmm? Uh -huh. You were selling stays. Estadías. Stays. Stays. Yeah. And. ¿Cómo sería? Ah, membresía. Membership. Membership. Yeah. Okay, we sell that too. That's very okay. interesting. Yeah. Eh, si lográbamos eso, eh, they give it to us a uh, bonus. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, whenever they say bonus, we get happy, right? Yeah, but for it me, it was hard. Very hard. I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, that's the way it goes. Uh, Gabriela, nice talking to you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure was totally mine. Atenas, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, tell me. How's everything? How was your day? Oh, my day is complicated. Oh, really? And go to the visit um, Anda. Uh -huh. and go, to, go to the visit. Uh, I went to visit. 
I went to visit Banco Agricola. Oh, so sorry for you. And That's terrible. And visit a uh, newspaper. Visited. Visited. Yeah, but whenever you say going to the bank, that's sad. That's yes. even more than sad. That's terrible. It's correct. Yeah, because I mean, wow. How long did you stay at the bank? Two hours. Two hours. Okay, okay. That's fast. Más o menos. Well, you know, I have been at the bank for four hours just waiting. I mean, uh, Eh, lo que sucede es que hoy no es día de pago, pero ya mañana. Tomorrow's payday? Hmm, didn't know. I mean, let's see. Last time I got paid like that every fortnight. You know what is a fortnight? ¿Cómo, fortnight. perdón? Fortnight. Fortnight. Every two weeks. In semana. That's fortnight. No en yeah. todos los lugares. No, no, no. I was telling you that the last time I got paid oh. every fortnight was like, oh, let's see, when was it? Like 20 something years ago. Yeah, more than 20 years. From then on, I have always gotten paid by the month. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, every two months. Yeah, I mean, uh, in some academies, they pay you until you finish the, the, the module. And some modules are two months. So uh, that's normal. I mean, the good thing is that in many places I have worked just by the hour. And that's cool because I mean, you got more than one place. So two hours at the bank. How long did you stay at the, at the newspaper? Um, 30 minutes. Ah, that was fast. Then, did you go back to the office? At uh, 4, 4 p.m. You went back to the office at 4 p.m. And you came out of the office? Sorry, I don't understand. And you checked out? I um, can't 5, 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Okay, that's nice. What time did you get home? At uh, 5.30 minutes. Okay, 5.30, 530. 5.30, you just say 5.30. Okay. At 530, okay. Fast, that was pretty fast. Sí, that's verdad. nice. Yeah, that's nice. There wasn't traffic, I imagine. No, no. Great. Awesome. I mean, yeah, because let's see for me. Yeah. Oh, man, today I went to the supermarket. That's terrible. <laughs> it's depressing going to the supermarket. 
Sí. Yeah, you know, everything is so, right now, prices are increasing. The prices, the cost is increasing. Really? Yeah, that's why I tell you, it's depressing going to the supermarket. I mean, wow. You Every spend week? a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and they 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 tell you that some some stuff is on sale. Yeah, but I mean it's as I tell you, it's depressing. I mean, look, it's becoming hard and it's becoming harder by the day. Let me write that this phrase for you. It is becoming harder by the day. It means that it's harder. It's harder day after day. Okay. Yeah. But what can we do? It's out of our hands. Está fuera nuestras manos. Atenas, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. Braulio, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you this lovely night? Uh, so, so. So, so, why? Come on. Regular? Yeah, why? What? How are... Uh, why do you say so so? Por qué dices so so? Ah, um, un, un poco cansado, estresado. Ah, uh, a little bit tired. Uh, a little bit tired. A little. Bit tired. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. Yes. Yes. Have a diner of uh, at the gas station. Okay, having dinner at the gas station. Yes. Okay, well, that's nice. What did you have for dinner? Yes or no? Um, dinner, uh, hot dog. Okay. Uh, coffee. Okay. A hot dog, a hot dog, and a cup of coffee. A how? A hot uh, dog. A hot dog. A hot hot dog. And, and a cup. In a cup. In a cup. Of coffee. Of coffee. Okay. A hot dog and a cup of coffee. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Well, thank you very much, Braulio. Nice having you here. Welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Angelica, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Bye, bye. Okay, how was your day? Tell me. Oh, my day is tired. But oh, really? I'm happy. I'm happy. Tired, but happy. Okay, what did you do today? Uh, what? What did you do today at work? 
um, un, un montón de cosas, ¿cómo le dice? Many things. Many things. Many. Like así, what? Many de muchos. Like what? Yeah. Like what? ¿Cómo qué? Eh, 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 emails eh, or the products sales very very people today. Oh really? Many people. Okay. Ah, sí, very, dije, ¿verdad? Ok, Mary, very much. Entonces, estuvo bastante pareadito el día. Ok, bueno. Well, the good thing was that you were busy, and being busy is always good. Estar ocupado siempre bueno, ¿no? Yes. I mean, because when you do nothing, the day at work feels long. Ah, sí. But when uh, you are doing many things, I mean, time flies. Exactamente. Uh, yesterday, are... yesterday, um, ¿cómo sería? yesterday that, that happened. That happened. That happened. Como de eso pasó ayer, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ayer sí estuvo alón, 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 forever. Alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday was a slow day. Yesterday was a slow day. Yesterday was a long day. Okay. A slow, slow day. Uh, slow. 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 Quítemele la E a esa S. Slow. 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 Like that. Perfect. Slow. Slow. Okay. Yesterday was a slow day. Yesterday was a slow day. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> no, thanks to you. It's good. It's good. Great. Well, Angelica, welcome. Thank you. Hey guys, let me get the attendance before we move on with the class, okay? Uh, see, attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Presence. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco, Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez, Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva, Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas, present, Karen de Siria Menjibar de Sánchez, Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla, Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Ok. Let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me just a second.
Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Rebecca, hello, good evening. How are you? Rebecca. Good evening, how are you? Okay, no problem, no problem. We can talk later, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Katia, hello. Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Um, oh, doble turno, eh, doble, bueno, yeah, doble, doble turno. <laughs> double chief? Sí, ah, doble chief. Double, double. Double, double chief, double chief. Ouch, that's mm -hmm. bad. Okay, what yeah. was your schedule then? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? What was the schedule? ¿Cuál fue el horario? Ah, de 7 a.m. From, from 7. From, from 7 a.m. Um, at, se dice después, at 7 p.m. 2. 2. 2, 7 p.m. Ouch. Wow, um, that was a I, lot. I do not like, I do not like. <laughs> no me gusta. Yeah, of course not. Nobody does. Yeah. Pero toca. Mm. I understand you, I understand you. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, the good thing is that it's not every day. ¿Qué dice en el día o cómo? ¿O todos no, los días? The good, the good thing, lo bueno, is that bueno. it is not every day. Lo bueno y lo malo. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen. The good thing is that que it is not the same, lo mismo, Every day. Lo bueno es que no es igual todos los días. Mm. Sí, yes. No, no es igual todos los días. Mañana salgo temprano. Siempre es diferente. Yeah, it is not like that every day. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Ya cuando vine a casa, dinner, diner, how dinner, how dinner, how dinner, beans, frijolitos. Okay, hold on. Sí, y qué es eso? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have. Beans, beans, like that. I have beans for dinner. Mm. I had beans for dinner. I had beans for dinner. Okay. Nice. Yeah. What did I have? Oh, they gave me dinner today. That's not good. Me ya me dieron cena and that's not good. Whenever I have dinner before the class, I get like uh, sleepy. I get sleepy. I get sleepy. I get sleepy if I have dinner before the class. And besides that, besides, además, besides. Last night, last night I I went to sleep at one a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And today I was up before six a.m. 
And I'm gonna finish around midnight. I finish mm. working tonight around midnight. Termino hoy como es a la medianoche. So today has as in your case, al igual que en su caso, today has been a long day for me. Mm, okay. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? It's not the hardest one I have had. Not el más duro que he tenido. I have had harder. So, nothing to worry. <laughs> Katia, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Katherine, welcome. Good evening. How are you? Long time no see you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I got a phrase for you. Long time no see. Hola. <laughs> Look at that expression. Best expression. Long time no see. Long time no see. Okay. The proper expression is like this. The proper expression is like this. It's been a long time without seeing you. Oops, I'm sorry, seeing. Seeing you. Seeing you. Seeing. Yeah, seeing you. It's been a long time without seeing you. Ha sido mucho tiempo sin verlo. But when speaking, we say, hey, long time no see. That's short. Como... Es, es lo mismo, pero más perfecto. More informal. Okay. Es más informal. Okay, perdón. Okay. Pero... <laughs> no lo entendí muy bien. Okay, la expresión long, it's been a long time without seeing you. Uh, ha pasado mucho tiempo sin verlo. O desde la ah, última vez que sí. le vi. Okay. El... But when we are speaking, hold on, hold on. Pero cuando estamos hablando, la decimos más corto y decimos simplemente Long time no see. Redujimos la frase. Ok. Long time no see. Se lo explico porque cuando yo le saludé a usted le dije. Okay, Hi, Catherine, how are you? Long time no see. Got it? Ok. Sí, ok, and tell me, how was your day? Uh, good. Come on, you say. Good. What's that? Very good. Okay. No sé, para decir más o menos. So, so. Ah, so, so. Okay, entonces. Or so, perhaps so. you can say, or you can say, it's better if you say like this. El so, so, sí se usa, pero no tanto. You can say, uh, not so bad. Y para not decir so solo bad. bien, no se puede. Yeah, you can say, okay, good, great, good, nice, fine. Mm. Entonces, se pueden decir nice. para decir bien. Okay, okay, fine, good. Not so bad as, ah, así más o menos. <laughs> ah, puede ser la correcta. That's not so bad. You can also say, ah, uh, like this, look. Can complain. Can complain. Ah, no me puedo quejar. Can complain. Yeah. Those expressions means the same. If I come and I ask you, hey, how are you? You tell me, sir. Quiere decirme aquí, pasándola. You say, you tell me. Uh, like this. Chilling. Chilling, así. Chilling, yeah, chilling. Chilling. That's like, uh, oh, chilling, okay. yeah. Okay, esa me gustó más. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. That's very informal. Esa es muy informal, es decir, ah, chilling. Mira, como aquí, pasándolo. Relajado, no problem, that's chilling. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> what time did what time did you finish working today? Mm. Pues, cansado. No, what time? What time? ¿A qué hora salí del trabajo? Yes. Pues salgo a las. Okay, in English, in English. I what? check out. I oops, I check out at four. I check out at four. I check out at four. Okay, I guess. Catherine, you back? I, I check for. Okay. Oh, there's Catherine. Yeah, we lost you for a second. Well, Catherine, welcome. Nice having you here. And let's see. Give me just a second, guys. So I'm like... Just a second, just a second. Okay. Let's see. Um, Marvin, hello Marvin. <laughs> yeah, it affects the connection. Hello, good evening. No, I know Catherine. Hello Marvin. How was the rain, my friend? ¿Qué tal la lluvia? Eh, fatal. <laughs> ¿Cómo es? Really? It was terrible? Terrible. Okay, well, but you made it home. Logro llegar a casa. ¿Cómo fue? You made it home. Logro llegar a casa. Yes. Very good, lo bueno. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I mean, it's, it's difficult. Sí, pero ahí estamos pendiente de la clase. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's something very important to be ready. Okay, and tell me, how was the day? It's quite bad because my mother is sick. Oh, really? That's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad, that's so bad. <laughs> and tell me, is she taking medicines or stuff? Okay. Is she, is your mother taking medicines? Que se le dieron medicamento a mi madre. Yep. Yes. Okay, well, let's let's hope the medicines work. Make their wonders. Esperemos que las medicinas hagan su trabajo. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice que le dieron examen? Oh, test. Okay. Test. Okay, okay, okay. 
en ese caso, cuando decimos que el médico nos dejó exámenes, la frase es esta. The doctor ordered some tests. The doctor ordered some tests. Eso quiere decir que el médico dejó... Yes, exactly. The doctor ordered some tests. No, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, I hate tests. Well, I hate blood, blood tests. I don't like those ones. Los de sangre no me gustan. Those are not good. ¿Cómo se dice? Injection. Le inyectaron suero y yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That's not good. Well, yeah, it's good, but it's uh, uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Muy incómodo. Sí. Yeah, that's something yeah. I don't like. Yeah, I remember, you know, once, uh, like a couple of years, I remember once I stayed at the hospital for five days. Man, and having those things here, uh, and when they when they put the medicine, wow, it's hurtful. It is hurtful, doloroso. Tres suero le inyectaron, como dice? Three suero, se dice? Three bags. Three bags of saline solution. Ah, saline solution. Mm. Three bags of saline solution. Yeah, well, that's nice. I mean, it's good. Es bueno. It helps. Ayuda. But it still is uncomfortable. Pero aún así, incómodo. Yes. It is uncomfortable. That's the way it is. Marvin, welcome to the class. What? Repeat. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Well, let's see. Almost, I talked to almost everybody. Let's see. Uh, Katia was with the rain. And Gabriela, Brian, it's a little bit sick. Rebecca, same trouble. Let's see. Maria Teresa. Maria Teresa is in hiding this right now. Maria Teresa, good evening. How are you? I just saw you a few seconds ago. Where did you go? Perhaps she's a little bit busy. Okay, let's see. Do you remember, guys, that yesterday I assigned you a homework? Your homework was for you to prepare two questions that you were going to ask me, right? Okay, let's see. Katia, can you ask me your questions? Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. For example, what for do you example, like for? For example, what do you like for lunch? What do I like for lunch? Mm -hmm. I mean, for lunch. Like maybe a pizza. Nothing special. I mean, what? Uh, I can have a sandwich for lunch and I'm happy. Even though my favorite dish, a pesar que mi platillo favorito is like uh, stuffed. Cathy, uh, Cathy. Stuffed green pepper. Stuffed green pepper. Stuffed green pepper. Chile verde relleno. I love that. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite lunch ever. Well, yeah. No, my favorite, the best lunch for me that I have had, well, I have had it for lunch and for dinner. It's a special dish, but I don't, I mean, I don't take it like regularly. I have 
taken it like uh, what twice a year. El platillo que más me ha gustado en mi vida solo lo he comido. Dos. Lo como una o dos veces al año. No, two, twice a year. It's a uh, it's a uh, high cut in corte alto with the with a mushroom from an, mm, no recuerdo el nombre de él. Mushroom? ¿Cómo digo eso en español? Mushroom? Hongo. 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 Yeah. Hongo. Mm -hmm. ah, se me olvida el nombre del hongo. Ese es el nombre del platillo. Mm. It's a delicious, delicious, delicious dish. I'll try to remember. Actually, I have taken it at a restaurant. Lo probé en un restaurante called uh, Al Pomodoro. Mm. I love Italian food. Delicious. Very delicious. But as I tell you, I mean, I don't need it regularly. So the second best, stuffed green pepper. That's my favorite. What about you? What do you like for lunch? Mm. Yeah, I mean, this goes my like favorite. this, my dear. My favorite. My favorite lunch. My favorite lunch is. Favorite. Favorite. Uh, favorite. Favorite. Comida china? ¿Cómo se dice? Chinese. Oh, I love it. I love Chinese food. Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Katia. Okay. Gracias. Okay. okay. Thank Let's you, see. Teacher. Angelica, ask me, please. Okay. Aquí lo tengo. Eh, how many samples are in your for are in your family? How many what? Sí, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Sí, oh, ¿sí? siblings, siblings. Ajá. Yes, are in your oh. family. Okay, we are four. I am the oldest of four. Yo soy el mayor de cuatro. Oh. There is me, my two sisters, and the youngest one is my brother. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's like, what? I don't know. 30, no, it's not 30. 28 or 29, somewhere around 40. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know exactly. What about yours? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh, um, we are a six. I am six? A, yes, I am a second. Okay, you are a second. Now, how many kids do you have? Um, now, 20, 21. No, no, no. How many kids? How many children do you ah, okay. have? Okay. ¿Cuántos hijos? Me asustó cuando me dijo 20 something. I was like, <laughs> my gosh. Wow. I was like, okay, no, no more questions. <laughs> no. Este. Eh, ¿Cuántos hijos tengo yo? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, one. Just one. Oh, okay. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you, Angelica. Okay. Rebecca. Hello, teacher. Okay, Rebecca, ask me. My question. Yep. Why, why don't, why, why don't you go the, you say, <laughs> I'm sorry. Why, why don't you go to the USA? Why don't I go to the USA? USA. Yeah, because I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I love the language, but living in the United States, hmm, I mean, yeah, you can make money, sure. 
but I mean, there's never vacation. There's uh, the lifestyle is different. I mean, it's a uh, the life the lifestyle is a uh, fast paced life. No, no. La, ya la se ya se la quitó. Thank you, me teacher. Is, no problem, no problem. It is a fast-paced life. Que es una vida muy ajetreada, muy rápida. Um, there is yeah. no time to relax. You are working all the time. Look, and if you are not, you are looking for. And I mean, you work all the time you can. And I mean, I work a lot here. Of course, yo trabajo mucho acá. But the lifestyle I get is different because I mean, sometimes uh, in a year I have like one month of vacation. Yo en el año puedo tener hasta un mes de vacación. Yeah. Do you imagine how expensive it will be in the United States? To take one month of vacation? Imagínese con caro sería tomar su mes de vacación en Estados Unidos. Staying there. Very, very expensive. Because, I mean, you don't get paid vacations there. Usted no tiene vacaciones pagadas. Okay. And according to the law, if you are a woman, de acuerdo a la ley, si usted es una mujer, and you got pregnant, you don't have not even one payday for birth. No hay ni un día pagado por dar a luz. That's, that's according to the law. I mean, no hay día de yeah. pagados. It's like this, okay, you don't go to work, no problem. You don't get paid. So, it's... It's bien complicado. Yep. Yeah. But still, I mean, for some people it works. Okay. And some people like it there. Yeah, mucho que I... out, so. yeah tell me. Cada quien, verdad? Porque yo sí quiero. Yeah. I am, I am when... <laughs> okay. I want to go. Yeah, I no, want of course. To... Yeah, of course, no, and it's fine. I mean, I got the, I got relatives there. Yo tengo mucha familia allá, but I mean, not really my thing. No, no, no. Not really what, what I feel like interested in. No la idea. Este, la, in la otra, la otra question. Where did you learn to speak English? Where did I learn? Wow. Here and there. Por ahí, por ahí. Okay, the situation is this. Look, uh, I have I have studied in, well, my teachers were like uh, oh. learning English was not difficult for me. To be honest with you, I was speaking English by the age of 17, 16. And first, I I am, well, uh, I studied for being an electrician. That was my high school. And I started working with an engineer. And we were working with equipment and everything was in English. He spoke English. Él hablaba inglés. He used to speak English with me every day. And then I had contact with some other people who were like, they also spoke English. My teachers were, well, my actually my very first teacher, teacher, formal teacher was a um, Scottish, era escocés. I have had American uh, teachers, and for five years, for some time, mm -hmm. I was working with Americans. I mean, every single day. 
speak in English every single day. So, I mean, I work with a I work with a Catholic American community. Catholic American so Catholic American community. So I have the opportunity to to learn a lot. And uh, then uh, for when I was working here in the, in San Salvador, I was working at a private school. I was working at uh, Garcia Flamenco. I worked there like, uh, well, full time for five years, within the computer five years, and part time, 10 more years. And and I was using English every day, all the time. I mean, I was in the English department. I have forbidden to speak in to Spanish and I held contact again with Americans. So all my life I have had contact with people who speak English. I mean, a couple of neighbors, they speak English. And in my house, my son speaks English. So. And the situation is this, and I'm telling you this, Lady Westo, because when it comes to languages, you never stop learning. Never. Because languages, uh, in a sense, in a way, they change every two years. There are new words. Okay. And there are some words that are out of fashion. That's normal. Every single language in total. That's normal. And in my case, uh, as I am a teacher, I need to be like uh, up to date. So I learn like. Uh, I cannot tell you when I learned exactly because uh, when I came to realize I was already speaking English. Cuando me cuenta ya lo hablaba. It was it was not difficult for me. No fue difícil para mí. I'm sorry. It's just because of my situation. As I told you, the, the set of circumstances allowed me to learn it fast. Eh, las circunstancias me permitieron aprenderlo muy rápido. Mostly by interaction, like this, having conversations. Conversations. That's why I emphasize a lot on conversation. Por eso que yo enfatizo mucho que tengamos esto, conversaciones. Because I know it works, not just for me. Yo sé que no, no funcionó y no solo para mí. Uh, in all these years I've been teaching and I have realized that this works a lot for a lot of people. Esto le funciona a todo el mundo. Having conversations is the fastest way for you to speak. La manera más rápida que usted aprenda a hablar es in conversations. Having conversations like this. One-on-one -on -one listening to people, even listening to people's mistakes help you. Aún escuchando los errores de los compañeros de ayuda. Because you realize that it's a mistake and you don't do it. Usted se da cuenta que es un error y no lo, no lo comete. So, uh, for your question, for me, when did I learn? I don't know. I mean, uh, I didn't study it formal. When I came to study it formal, I could already speak it. Cuando yo vine a estudiarlo de una manera formal, ya lo hablé. Teacher, uh, a, ver si lo, a ver si lo digo bien. Beautiful your story of your life. Yeah, well. That's the story of my life, speaking English. The other part, you don't even want to know. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Atenas, you. your turn, your turn. You were laughing at me. So now it's your turn. Ask me. What's your favorite place? My favorite place? For what? Um, for vacation, for relaxing. For relaxing. 
Home. I love being home. I enjoy it. Okay. I enjoy being at home, but I mean, uh, it depends. Like if I am on vacation, uh, I like I like uh, driving out of the city. Gusta conducir fuera de la ciudad. Looking at landscapes, viendo paisajes. I love going to the mountains by car. Me gusta ir a las montañas por acá. Okay. Okay. I enjoy it. Uh, yeah. But mostly if I am like on a normal day, my best place to be is home because I sit on the sofa, grab a book and start reading. I love reading. Me encanta leer. That's why. What about you? What's your favorite place? Mm, my favorite place is the beach. Oh, I love going to the beach. I enjoy going to the beach. For fun, for a little thing, I love going to the beach. Okay, which is your favorite beach? <laughs> um, Los Cobanos. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice. You know, I used to go a lot when I was younger to, to El Tunco. Perdón, teacher. I used to go a lot when I was younger, back in the days. Oh, I got a phrase for you. Back in the days. Back in the days. Uh, hace, un, hace tiempo. En aquel entonces. When I was young, uh, I used to love going to El Tunco. Oh. And I used to spend like weeks, for weeks, staying there. Ooh. Every okay. week? No, no, no. I used to spend weeks. Me pasé hasta semanas. There, allí. Híjole. Yeah. <laughs> Fun, fun, believe me. Muy divertido. <laughs> yeah, with my cousins. I got relatives over there. Tengo familia ahí. So with my cousins, we used to, when they were younger, and they eran jóvenes, we used to, we used to party a lot. Believe me, party. But now they are older, they got, they are still there, but they got business. Ahora ya se hicieron mayores. Aún viven ahí, pero tienen negocios ahí. So they are yeah, always in the business. Yeah, they are always in the business. I mean, we talk, but uh, I mean, they are like, you know, business. They are business people. So it's different, but still we, we go. I mean, I go once in a while. Voy a ir al tiempo. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Nice talking to you. Okay, what that was your second question? Oh. Mm. Mm. Where do you live? I live in San Martin. Okay. I live in San Salvador, San Martin. No, San Martin is almost on the border of Cuscatlan. Uh, I grew up, let's see. Actually, I am from San Salvador. I grew up in between San Antonio Val and Soyapan. Mm. But then when I got, you know, I came to San Martin. <laughs> when I got married, I came to San Martin and I've been in San Martin Se lo llevaron. for, eh, you know, I was young, you era joven. I was young, I was like, I was 22 or 23 at that time. Tenía como 22, 23. I was very young. So, I've been here for 20 years now. So, I, I live in San Martin. I don't like it, it's hot. And besides that, I mean, I have not stayed here all my life. No es pasado 14 tiempo. 
as I told you, for five years, I was not here. I was out. So okay. to be living, living here, I got like 15, 14. Yeah. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Thank you, too. Okay, let's see, let's see. Where's Marvin? Marvin, your questions. Ask me, please. Eh, sería, what do you, in your for time? I'm sorry. What do you do for? In for, in your 14. No, así. Dígame la última palabra. ¿Qué quiere decirme? In your free time, you mean? Free, free, free time. time. Free okay, time. yeah. <laughs> oh, I am a boring person. Yo soy muy aburrido. I mean, if it's just a couple of hours, si solo es un par de horas, I will. No pongo leer. If it's like uh, one day, like Sunday, if I have time on a Sunday, si tengo tiempo en domingo, I mean, I read and I always try to fix something around the house. Me pongo arreglar algo de la casa, something that needs painting, or I mean, or, you know, doing little stuff. Hacer algunas cosillas. So, or, or, o a veces, uh, if I am in the mood, soy de ánimo, and if there's, you know, dollars, we we go out. Nos vamos a dar una vuelta. I mean, I, uh, I like driving. Me gusta manejar, so we go far. Nos vamos a ir. So that's my Very good. time. What about you? Very good. What about you, Houston? What do you do in your free time? Ah, uh, no sé si se pronuncia así, pero Arua in my fighting. In my free time. Free time. Yo leo en mi tiempo libre. I read. I read. I read in my free time. Okay. You like reading? That's nice. Me gusta leer. Yes. That's great, that's great. Okay, tell me, what's your favorite type of books? What is your favorite libro favorito? What do you like reading? <laughs> no, pues, no lo puedo pronunciar. <laughs> no, but tell me. Tell me in Spanish and I will help you in English. Dígame en español no, y leo. Pues, hay unas, una serie, no sé, pero se llama Pídame lo que quieres. Ask me what you want. Hmm. Or tell me what you want. I have never heard of it. Who's the writer? Who is the escritor? No me acuerdo. I know. Pero ahí estaba leyendo la saga completa. No está recomendada. No está recomendada. Okay. Oh, I know which one. It's Megan Maxwell. Come on, Marvin. I know, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Well, you know, it's, it's fun. You know, I have read so much things. I have read so many things. All along my life, you leído tanto mi vida, but believe me, that's something soft. Eso es suave. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. That's not like big deal. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, let's see. Maria Teresa, you back? Hello, teacher. Hello, Maria Teresa. Good evening. Okay, you got two questions for me, please? Yes. Um, 
What country girl you like to visit? What? Oh, which which country? Which country? Okay. The difference is this. Let me explain to you. You have what and you have wish. A ver, voy a explicar un momento en español acá para todos. What quiere decir qué o cuál? Wish quiere decir cuál o el cuál o la cuál. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Okay. The difference is this. La diferencia es esta. When you give options, cuando hay opciones, you can use wish. Podemos utilizar wish. Okay. When there's no options, cuando simplemente queremos indagar una información, usamos what. En este caso, which country would you like to visit? ¿Qué país le gustaría visitar? There's option, porque we have a number specific, right? Tenemos un número específico. So, which country would I like to visit? Ooh. Let's see, let's see. I would love to visit Norway. Norway. And I would love to visit also Argentina. Why? Oh, you're gonna <laughs> love. Because the cold weather, the clima for you. I love the cold weather. And that's like uh, that's like going to Canada also. Canada. Oh Canada. Ooh. When well the very first snow is beautiful. La primera nevada is bello. But it's cold. I mean, not in the moment that it's snowing, right after it finishes. Comienza a nevar, una media hora después. Man, it gets cold, like cold. You can, uh, I have a friend that uh, we went out, salimos, and his ear broke. Se le quebró la oreja. It froze. And the other reason is funny, you know? The other reason is because uh, in both places, they love rock. And I love rock. I love listening to rock. Okay. And, and and the type of rock that I used to listen and people of the Java was a little bit heavy. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Now, the other question? Um, sí. What other language? Bueno, no sé si es así, ¿verdad? Uh, me corrige. <laughs> well, what other language? Uh, can you speak besides this English and Spanish? Well, to speak, the problem is that I don't speak another language. I understand. Uh, I understand listening Portuguese and I can read Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And I can read a little bit of Italian also. And I am learning right now uh, French. And I am also trying to learn Italian. And for next year, my plan is to start learning Russian. Mm. It's great. Yeah, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just that I'm curious. I'm curious. Y nosotros apenas lleg lleg llegamos al, es al español. <laughs> oh, oh, but you know what? I was talking to one of your classmates the other day. Once you have learned a second language, to learn a third, a fourth is easier. Una vez usted ya dominó un segundo, llegar a un tercero o un cuarto y entender, al menos entendernos, se vuelve más fácil. Yeah. It has to do with the processes on, your, on our brains. Tiene que ver con los procesos mentales. I mean, it, it is a fact. Es un hecho. Once you have learned a second, you can learn a third. Of course, don't go after English. Don't go for Russian. Don't go for Chinese. Desde luego, no me salte después de ese al, al ruso o al chino. Are pretty difficult. Or Arabian or Arabic. I mean... That's a whole different thing. 
we are talking at different level. Like, estamos hablando de un nivel distinto. Mm -hmm. the, a level of complexity. I mean, right now you must realize something. Just pick one of the most difficult. Estoy hablando de los más difíciles. Spanish. Complex. Quite complex. I mean, I don't like teaching Spanish. A mí no me gusta enseñar Spanish. To teach Spanish to English people is so difficult. Because I mean, uh, something very simple. I don't want to say Imagine the, the, the article, el artículo, el, la, okay. In English, one word. In English, una sola palabra, la. There is no germ, my género, on el. the article. La. Da es el, la, el. los, Vos. las. Mm -hmm. You see, el. simple, right? Okay. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Mm -hmm. El dedo. Mm -hmm. El puño. Los nodillos. La muñeca. La mano. El brazo. El codo. Oh, how, yeah. do you <laughs> how do you explain the difference between el and la? ¿Cómo explica usted la diferencia de el o la? Mm. Complex. Okay. We know that in Spanish, uh, if a word ends in a, si una palabra termina en casa, en que femenino, right? Yes. Casa, right? Comida. Mm -hmm. Decimos la comida, no decimos el comida. El casa, right? Mm -hmm. Agua. <laughs> Please explain that to me. Explique me eso. So you see, Spanish complex, English very easy. Yes. But uh, what I was going to is that you speak a Romance language. That means that for you, it's going to be easier to understand. Portuguese, va a ser fácil de entender. Portuguese. It's going to be easy to understand French and Italian. Se le va a ser fácil entender. Well, Portuguese, then Italian, then French. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Because you already speak this. And we, they are called Romans because they come from the Latin. Tienen una raíz latina. So, uh, that's going to be interesting for you. You will realize and you will find out that it's easy. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Gabriela, yes, tell me. French is not easy. No, I... it's not easy. It's not easy, but, 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 hold on. After learning English, French is easier. I can speak. French. You can speak French? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Well, you realize then that uh, grammatically speaking, some of the some of the tenses and the structures between French and English are kind of alike. Algunas estructuras gramaticalmente son parecidas. Even uh, like uh, passive voice. Como la voz pasiva. Passive voice belongs to French and English. That way of, of speaking and... Teacher, we can hear you. Atenas. ¿Qué pasó? Que alguien me explique, no entiendo. Ah, no, que se me mal. ¿Verdad? Sí, es que de repente pues, ya no estaba. No, este mute. Teacher, no le oímos. Probando. Nos está probando, a ver si hacemos relajo. <risa> Dice que esperemos, que no entiende qué sucede. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now. No, it's just that. My camera, my camera and my microphone are connected. It's the same. La cámara tiene el micrófono. 
and there was a problem with the connection, un problemita con la conexión. Okay, so I was talking to Gabriela and I was explaining words, Gabriela. Oh, right there. Uh, like passive voice, you know, passive voice belongs to French and English. Yeah. La voz pasiva pertenece al, al inglés y al francés. And it came into Spanish, vino en español. I mean, when I studied, when I was in, at school, cuando yo estaba en la escuela, up to eighth, ninth grade, allá por octavo, noveno grado, passive voice did not exist in Spanish. Eso no existía en español. Now they teach it to kids. Hoy en día se le enseña a los niños in Spanish. Passive voice is used in, in, in English more for writing rather than speaking. Se usa, se usa al hablar, pero se usa mucho más al hablar de escribir. In French, it's used when you speak. Of course, very different is the sounds. Los sonidos son muy distintos. Pretty different. But it's closer. French is closer to the English than to Spanish. Es más cercano los sonidos al inglés que al español. Sí. Eh, eh, lo único es que el francés es más gutural. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. It's like English. Many of the sounds of English are here. Muchos de los sonidos del inglés están acá. Like, uh, I mean, uh, like Canada. Canada. Para decir la A. Algunos de los sonidos de la A en inglés. You make them right here. Los hacemos acá. Son guturales. Porque en la palabra Canada... El sonido de la primera A no es ni A ni es E. El sonido es una schwa. Y esa cosa se forma acá al expulsar aire acá y cortarlo. Can Canada, Canada. When I was young and learning, my teacher told, told us eh, when... Eh, when you speak French, uh, can you, uh, what's that? Junta tus labios uh, like uh, cuando vas a besar a tu novio. <laughs> sí. Bonjour. 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 Entonces que teníamos que parar la trompita para que pudiéramos bonjour, decirlo. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Yeah, but it's not bonjour, it's, it's bonjour, bonjour. Yeah, well, you know, and in English you will find some words that, uh, that are, that come from French. Just give me a second. Yes, Braulio, you have a question? Yes, uh, teacher. Uh, según lo que usted explicaba anteriormente, Este, cuando queremos expresar eh, un artículo eh, el o la siempre va a ser eh, en inglés de no va a cambiar yep yes yep okay. exactly so if you like uh, French you will enjoy this look Fiancé en fiancé. Ok. Fiancé en fiancé are English words. Yeah. But they are French words. Fiancé es el novio y la novia. Fiancé en fiancé. What's the difference? Ok. You got boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? Okay. Yes, teacher. Now, eh, uh, now uh, let's see. No, there's a mistake here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boyfriend and girlfriend is uh, supposed to be novio novia. 
but it depends on the context because I mean, you know, I, I have a, I have a friend who's a girl, it's Rebecca, so, and Rebecca says, oh, Rebecca says, oh, I have a friend, I have a girlfriend, and it's Atenas. And the connotation doesn't mean that it's her partner, you know, it's because su pareja. It's like it's su amiga. Okay? Now, when that, when, when a, when a couple, when una pareja se compromete, they become PNZ, PNZ. Okay? Now, if we are very formal when speaking, okay, uh, the masculine is PNZ. The feminine is PNZ. And we are talking about uh, they are when they are engaged. Now, nowadays, hoy en día, you pronounce both the same, fiance. And they come from from French. And some other words that we use that come from French, like pull the sack. Okay, pull the sack. It's an English phrase. It's una frase in English. In English. Lo usamos en English. Okay. It is used in English. It has a meaning in English. Tiene un significado en inglés. A cul de sac. Uh, okay. I will explain it in Spanish. Se lo explico en español. Una calle va recta. Esta calle termina como en una rotonda. Y alrededor de esa rotonda hay casitas. En medio podría haber una fuente, una cuestioncita, cualquier cosa. Pero esa calle que va recta, que termina en rotonda, eso es un cul de sac. And that's English. And I'm, I'm telling you the English meaning. Uh, reservoir. That's English also. I mean, that's a French word that is used in English. Something that you must understand, Gabriela, is that English is not a pure language. El inglés no es una lengua pura. No, but it's, be it's a beautiful language. And the thing with English is that uh, English is easier to think. Es de lo más fácil para pensar. And yeah. Oh, thank you. The easiest Supposedly, the easiest language for thinking is Esperanto, but I mean, not a lot of people speak it. Muy poca gente lo habla. Yeah. It's a technical language, but English is quite easy for thinking. It's muy fácil para pensar. To think in English is quite easy, believe me, it's easy. So when it comes to languages, uh, it's, it's fun, but we will talk about that later, okay? Because right now we are in an exercise. And you know, let's see, before we move on to the exercise, second attendance, let's do it fast. Uh, oh, let's see, where am I? Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón, Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sanchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saray Martinez Ramirez. Uh, Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Karen Desiree Mengibar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. Mm. Sorry. Escucho. Mil Yes, thank you. Milton Antonio García Castellano, Mirna Atenas Vanegas Zamora. Present. Rebecca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present, teacher. 
Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. En Xiomara Chamilet, Mendoza, Mendoza. Okay, guys, let's see. We are going to work. We're going to go check the manual. We have something. Uh, we have a little something to do in the manual. We are going to go to the manual to page number 31. Vamos a nombrar página 31, okay? Let me share with you because right there we have a conversation that we are going to practice. And the conversation goes like this, okay? The instruction is, remember, page 31 in your manual. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do to the, that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? I repeat. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Last time, una última vez. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day. I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have Free time. Okay, guys, now you're going to go and practice working in pairs. Let me just check a little something. See. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
product. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Okay. A ver. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karen. Hello, Hello teacher. Uh, Otra vez. Vaya. ¿Empiezo yo? Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it with why, perdón. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I am not so sure. What time? Does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay. Bueno, voy yo si quiere. Sí, dele. Espera, si quiere hacer la imagen. Eh, um, what do you have to do on Tuesday? I just checked the production for the Perdón. new... No, era al revés, tú empezabas. <risa> o yo empezaba. Sí, usted ah, no, yo no, sí. Ok, ok. What do you have to do on Tuesday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can, Can, me cerró? Eh, can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What I... time da does he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Okay. Okay. Sorry, Gabriela. <laughs> Pero... Pero don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin. Okay, oh. Sorry, thank you. Gracias. No problem, no problem. Keep on practicing. Continue, continue. Ah, sí. Empiezo, Rebeca. Bye. No, pero me quiero apretarle más. A ver. Dele. What do you have? What do you have to do? To do in third. <laughs> what does Mister We have to do that that day? I am not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday, or when does? He have a regular time. Yes, yes. Mira, 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 I have checked the production for the new production and write a report about why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to that day? That day? I'm not so sure. Maybe. What time does he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Error. Sí. Vamos bien. Y hoy quién empieza? Oh. <laughs> Empiezo yo. <laughs> Dele. Vaya. Pues. Mister Atena o Mister. Ay. <laughs> What do, you, what do you have to do on Thursday? 
I just check the production for the new production yeah, and write a report mm -hmm. about it. Why? Because I need someone to help my move so many bugs. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Como? Can you do me a favor? Repeat. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Do me. Do me a favor. Oh, thanks. Okay. Teacher. I just see over that. See? Sure. What is about? What, what does <laughs> what Perdón. does Mr. Ruiz have to the day? I don't know. So sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Mm -hmm. Very good. When does he have free time? Ah, pues sí, lo dije ahorita. Creí que me había comido el have. Hijo. Vaya. Pinche, repítale a usted. Dígale a usted para ver si lo pronunciamos bien. Compañera. Ok, but I will put everybody in mute, pero lo voy a poner a todos en mute. Ok. Okay, goes like this. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, you see? Very easy, right? Okay, take 60 seconds. <laughs> Ya nos sentíamos abandonados. <laughs> no le I, oigo. I wonder why. Because you give it to us so much time. Yeah, because I was listening to some pronunciations and there's still some things to, to work oh. on. Oh, I understand. But, eh. Uh, Karen and I said, the teacher forgot about okay. us. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Atenas and Katia. Atenas, you will start. Okay. Permítame, permítame que se me pagó la compu. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Ay, ay, ay. Permítame. Ay. Ahí está, hoy sí, hoy sí. Really, ready, ready. What do you have to do on Thursday? 
I had checked the production for the new production and write a report about why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? Uh, what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay. Uh, Katia, about it. About it. About it. About it. Perfect. About it. Catherine and Rebecca, please. Catherine, you start. Hola. <laughs> que empiece la Rebe. <laughs> what do you need to do on Thursday? Pídeme, 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 pídeme. I just check the production for the new production and write a write report about it quite because I knew some way to help me move some box. Can you do me a favor? Mm, sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not too sure. What time that he finished to work and Thursday on what does he have for the time? Okay. What is it about? What is it about? What is it about? Okay, perfect. Now, Angelica and Xiomara. Good sir. You, Angelica. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about, about it. Why? Because I need someone, excuse me, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what it is about. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, for the new product, for the new product. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Very well done, actually. Nice. Very nice. Braulio and Maria Teresa. Maria Teresa, you start. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? Braulio. Braulio, your microphone. Ah, uh, perdón, perdón, teacher. Ah, uh, ahorita no le, no lo había activado. Eh, ella empezó, ¿verdad? Yep. Sí, empecemos si quiere. Please, please, let's start yes, again. Yes. What do you have to do on Thursday? Thursday? Uh, I just check the production for the new product and to write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can do you can do you me a favor? Sure. Brownie? Sure. Uh, sure. 
What, what is it about? What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not uh, sure. What time does, does he finish to work on stores and, uh, or when does he have free, free time? Okay, okay, thank you. Very well done. Free time, free time, Maria Teresa. The other thing is a game. El otro es un juego. Okay, <laughs> let's see, let's see. Free five. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why. Gabriela and Karen. Okay, Gabriela, you start. Okay. Uh, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do it? Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Perfect. Thank you very much. And Athenas and Marvin. Athenas, you start. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new production and why I report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do what day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, quite. Perfect, thank you very much, guys. Well, today, if you notice, was mostly speaking. Tomorrow, I got two different topics for us to talk, to discuss. Mañana vamos a tener dos temas for discussion, okay? We're going to work a little bit with the manual, but we're going to have two topics uh, that I'm going to give you questions for you to ask and interact in English, okay? And now for next week, uh, I will switch into in Spanish so you get like the idea. Para la próxima semana, la vamos a apretar un poquito más. Le voy a dar preguntas, pero en alguna que otra clase la pregunta no lo voy a mandar a grupos a que allá la practiquen. Sino que le voy a dar la pregunta acá a uno de ustedes y usted acá se la va a preguntar al otro. Ok, so... <laughs> Yes, yes, that's the idea, that's the idea. I want your answers to be spontaneous, okay? Don't worry, it's gonna be fun. Of course, I, I'm not gonna give you a big, big answer, big question, something that you can control, okay? Don't worry. But step by step, we are going to go increasing because it's necessary, it's good for you. And if you realize you are listening to a lot of English right now and you are reacting well so don't be afraid there's no reason to be afraid about it. let me get the final attendance guys Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar okay. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa present teacher uh, Brian Alexander Rivas Sanchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. 
Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Sirena Inquiebar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Ok. Rebeca, give me a second at the end. I don't mean to Thank you very much, guys. It was a pleasure for me to be with you. See you tomorrow. Be on time, be on time, be early. Estemos a tiempo. Minutes are counting. Okay? Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? No le voy a quitar mucho tiempo. Es que como usted sabe, tengo unos minutitos asignados con cada uno de ustedes al final de la clase. Estos minutos son por si tienen dudas de algún tema, algo que le gustaría que reforzáramos. Y si no, pues para que yo le dé algunos tips o alguna ayuda en algunos puntos específicos. Pero comencemos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo se tiene la clase? Pues fíjese de que realmente, mire que el inglés para mí, pues la última vez fue bachillerato. Le hablo ya de más de 10 años. Este, y pues para mí ha sido nuevamente empezar esta clase y todo. Créame que al inicio, cuando empezó a hablar usted, este, no le entendía nada. No le entendía nada. Entonces, este, y me decían, este, yo le decía a, a veces a alguien, este, no, yo no le entiendo, y entonces, y me decían, si es una clase de inglés, no te puedes hablar en español, y así, pero me está gustando porque prácticamente está en, así en línea, me gusta porque uno tiene que estar escuchando, escuchando y estar aprendiendo cada palabra, y, y hoy ya le entiendo más, un poquito más un poquito más y sí me ha parecido bien la clase que usted le imparte sí me, me ha gustado bastante uh -huh. ok mire una pregunta nada más que me quería sí, hacer bien. este por ejemplo eh, cuando digamos yo quiero decir yo quiero I want verdad I want I want to no sé algo pero no sé si es malo o bueno estar viendo videos y todo verdad obviamente no me puedo no me puedo, como le digo, confundir yo sola, ¿verdad? Pero quería preguntarle si, se, como dice ahí en unos videos, que también uno lo puede decir como iguana. Sí, el día de ayer les explicaba eso a sus compañeros. Que usted ajá, puede ya no, y ya no logré. Ajá, ya no logré. To, want to es, se pronuncia guana. Mm. I want to talk to you. Yo quiero hablar con usted. O I want to, you know, I want to go to the beach this weekend. Quiero ir a la playa este fin de semana. The same as going to. El going to se pronuncia gonna. El got to, gotta. Ya. El guan, tú. Guana. Uh -huh. vale. Pero sí, teacher, sí, sí, la verdad sí me ha gustado bastante. La no, forma que usted nice. le uh -huh. La forma nice, que usted le nice. imparte, sí. Uh -huh. okay, no tengo well. más que verdad. Uh -huh. Now, uh, 
¿Usted trabaja desde casa en compu o en teléfono? Teléfono. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. Teléfono. Now, eh, si hay algún tema que le esté dando lata o que usted quiera reforzar, hágamelo saber. Puede mandar un mensaje en privado y yo le puedo reforzar con algún tema específico, mandándole la información directamente para lo que usted quiere trabajar. Uh -huh. Oye. Está bien. Eh, ahora, Rebeca, la asistencia, la asistencia. Sí, fíjese que de hecho sí, este, ajá, más que todos los minutitos que me atraso, porque a veces este, me llevan a la niña a la iglesia, entonces yo voy a traerla y ahí es donde yo me atraso, por lo menos como, un, bueno, yo salgo tipo siete y media del trabajo, 20 a las 8. Como a las ocho y media ya estoy en casa, pero no es de todos los días. ¿no? Uh -huh. Pero sí voy a preocupar la manera de estar más puntual. Sí, porque déjenme ver, déjenme revisar. Sí, todavía tiene margen, pero la idea es no gastar ese margen porque no saben qué día le puede surgir un inconveniente de veras de peso. Sí. Entonces, no, en la medida de lo posible, let's make the effort. And remember, if anything, let me know. Si algo, háganmelo saber. Tal vez le pueda dar una opción que les haga ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Well, I, know, I know you are tired. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Si no hay ninguna otra cosita, yo sé que está cansado. Sí, gracias, teacher. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Good night. Have a good night, teacher. I see you tomorrow. The first. See you tomorrow, my dear. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's see, we we're working online.
Oops. Connection is giving problems right now. Well, let's see WH question. That is a very inter interesting topic. Let's hope everybody has understood it because tomorrow we are going to keep continue working with it. And it's going to be interesting. Now, let's see, let's see. Well, time's up. So tomorrow, 